So I put my hands up to play in my song. The butterflies fly away. Not in my head like, yeah. Moving my hips like, yeah. I got my hands up to play in my song. I know it's gonna be okay. Yeah. It's a party in the USA. America. That's good. That's good. <laughs> I'm telling you, you need to start doing karaoke nights, I think, man. I think I think I might. You need to start like putting that on on YouTube. You need to start like your singing skills. You need to start generating some kind of profit. You think so? Because yeah, yeah, it, like, like you can sing. Like, can I be uh, like the in voice? that stomach of yours? There's a singer in there, and that singer <laughs> wants to get out. I think it's time you show you give that voice to the world, man. You need you need to really pursue that. Should think I about go for it. the voice in Japan. Seeing karaoke like that is considered like a gift from God. Really? Yeah. So that's, I can be like... Not many people can do that. So that's, all, that's pretty... So do you think I have a chance? Oh, yeah. You have a big chance. Because I'm kind of... I still have like some sinuses. So that's not my voice voice. So you can tell it's kind of changed. But if what do you it sounds good right now, imagine how it sounds when you're feeling way healthier. Mm-hmm. So I'm telling you, you need to pursue that. Trust me. Like you need to start like hit the karaoke bar, start building like a fan base. I'm so? telling you, yeah. I'm telling you, you can make some money. Can I be like that. the Asian guy that was on uh, American Idol? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Had two platinum CDs. Don't what does that he even you? did a Christmas one. He <laughs> did a Christmas one. Mm-hmm. He did a Christmas say? album, two CDs. The Christmas album went gold, sold five hundred thousand copies. And he's a yeah, he's a platinum selling artist. And people didn't he didn't a lot of people didn't believe in him and everything yeah, turned out you know good what? for That's him. True. Maybe maybe I should do it. Mm-hmm. You should. What was the song he sang? Uh, she said the oh he sang the she Ricky. bangs yeah she bangs mm-hmm. oh baby she mm-hmm. moves she that thing moves. made the charts too yeah it did in the video you know he was you know he was famous for a couple of years I think he just lives off the royalties now you know he had a good run it's like that Psy guy from that Gundam style thing yeah yeah well, you know I'm gonna say this about that guy something that he has that a lot of people don't he just gives no fucks mm-hmm. and he knows he tried his best he don't matter exactly say what you want. He made money off off of mm-hmm. that, so you know what? Who's really laughing now? Yeah, exactly. You can't you, you can't, you can't knock him. You can't knock him down, man. He made money and he got famous. Sure, he was maybe the laughing stock of the nation, but hey, he did what he wanted to do. He didn't give a fuck what he they did. He made money. Doesn't yeah. matter. At the end, he pursued what he wanted to do. I think everybody True. needs to pursue what they want to do. But yeah, you think I can be like a second six nine or something? Yeah, I think so. Mm-hmm. You're gonna it? be the the Mexican version of Ricky Martin. I think you have that. You just gotta, you know. Why not Ricky Glaciers? Why Ricky Martin? I mean, well, well, I mean, he did make that right that she bang song. Not, yeah, did. but I mean, Ricky Martin is also gay. I'm not gay. Oh, okay. Enrique Glaciers, then. Okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he had some good songs Pursue too. It. You need to register yourself in a singing course at community college. Maybe yeah. Mm-hmm. Like remember the song Ricky Glaciers did for uh, remember it was on the movie Hot Tub Time Machine where they hype up the guy to go fight the dude who beat him up all those times. Oh, was that was it Ricky Glaciers song? I don't yeah. remember. I've remember, not seen that was, movie in a uh, while. Oh man, what song is it? It's one that um, come on, or, or in the movies like come on, be fucking Ricky Glaciers, be our hero. I can oh, be yeah. your hero, mm-hmm. baby. And that was that was a good song too. That was such a great song. That might be the next song I sing on the next. Yeah, episode. yeah. For the next episode, you should really so, do right? that. Yeah. That'd be tremendous for yeah, everyone. Sure. Thank you. I know. And our forty-five subscribers that we have. Well, you mean, but there's more people that view it than that subscribe it. Actually, I think the more people are listening because our Spotify numbers are pretty solid. So, They're pretty good. Yeah. So, but even the YouTube, thank you guys. But I'm still debating on the OnlyFans. Cause it would be cool just to get, you know, I did a, you know, it, it was a 50, 50, it was about 60% said, don't do it. 40% said, do it. You I know why know. I'm, I don't hesitate. The but only there's fans, no nudity. But we need, yeah. But the content is like, I don't know what you want to like. Film. I got a lot of like, good ideas. Are you going to like deep throw a bunch of corn dogs? <laughs> are you going <laughs> to give a homeless person a ride and take them to the opposite side of town and leave them there like i don't know what you're trying to do because for me if i'm paying five bucks a month like i want to see like something interesting but remember the five bucks is ain't even it's to see stuff but in return it's for people to win stuff yeah i don't know randy like i people i think people want to see you do stuff that that do they really want to see that or do they want to get a chance to win a brand new iphone new macbook pro 
I think people want to see you do dumb shit. I think you need to do something like, like go to like Burger King, buy 200 hamburgers and hand them out to like the people on the streets. No, I or think they the, just want to, they want to do the thing so I can give away a lot of free shit. Or take a picture of yourself, um, do a missing, uh, missing people's poster of you and put them all over by Celia and see who recognizes you. That's what, I don't know, but I think you should really think about it first. I don't think we should jump on the OnlyFans fan. I yeah. don't know. Why not? But, hey, think about it. Bro, Blueface started an OnlyFans. Not yeah, but he has a, a house with the chicks, with 12 different chicks from across the nation beating the shit out of each other and doing like a bunch of adult stuff on that. So, it's hard to compete with that, with you eating so many corn, eating 30 corn dogs. Or, I never said I was any corn dogs, though. Yeah, but you eating you eating thirty <laughs> corn dogs, or, or 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 I don't know, doing something comparing with twelve drunk girls in a house that show a lot of nudity. And what are you drinking? I'm drinking water. I'm not. I'm drinking this one. What's it called? What's Espo- it called? Espolón. Yeah. We we should really work on like we bought a lot of those bottles and this, and you need to send them an email, man, because. We go through all of those bottles like, not much, but you know when we're shooting. Well, you know, you're you're an alcoholic. No, you drink I'm not. more than I do. Uh, not really. I'm I've kept all not. the same bottles over the past two years. Dude, I still have that rum you got me for Christmas. The one tastes like coconut. Bro, I've gotten four bottles over the la- five bottles over the last year, and they're all gone. Mm, plus, we had like guests over recently, so they drank some too. So, eh. the majority of you did though. No, nah, I don't think so. Really? So I recall that one time when I brought the green label, you killed that within a month. You're an alcoholic. No, I'm not. I'm not an alcoholic. Okay, you're more than an alcoholic than me, though. No, I don't think so. It just tastes really good. You are to liquor to what I am to cigars. Okay, I'll give you that. Okay, I'll give you that. All right, thank you. But, so, what? Don't you guys say welcome? Oh, I did not say the welcome, did I? Mm, welcome to another it, episode man. of Randy's Rants, guys. Thank you all for tuning in. Thank you all for listening, watching. Thank you for the support. Yeah, thank you. You guys. Thank you. So Send Randy new, gifts. What's, it, what's, what's in the news? Let's talk about the news. There's a lot of shit going on right now. A did you get your California recall ballot in? I did. So, how'd you vote? Are you going to keep it a secret? What do you think about Newsom? I don't know, man. I think I can do a better job, so I might do the recall and then put my right in, my my right in things. So I vote for myself. I mean, man, honestly, fair enough. I don't know. I honestly, I think Newsom is not. He's he's done mistakes, but he's not a bad governor. So I'm like, nah, I'm not. I'm not gonna vote. I'm, uh, I'm, I've, I voted no on the recall. I don't know. I it, think he it, does honestly, a better job than that train wreck, Caitlyn Jenner. Do you really want Shim? To run the state? Why do you have? Why, why do you have against a transgender, bro? No, I don't. Is that 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 lady <laughs> killed a lady in a car? She, she ran over a lady. Actually, she has a body under her. She killed a person, like really killed a person. Well, of course she has, you know. And honestly, and I don't know. I Bruce think she's, Jenner. I think she's a. I don't well, know. Well, technically, she has two bodies. Uh, uh, yeah, and it's just. <laughs> I think the state would be very confused, and I don't think the state can deal with that. We got enough forest fires and still being like a person who doesn't even know what that person is. So I don't know. That's why, yeah, I vote. I don't keep nuisance, man. We're gonna have a lot of people maybe angry at this at this episode. No, no, it's just no. It says I just think this. There's, there's like 30 people running against him. No one knows who's the hell's running against him. Yeah, me. There's some other people. Some some other guy. People's running in the past. That's probably like a couple ex porn stars. Like a, like a bunch of weird people. Star? I don't know who the fuck. There's like 30 people in the ballot. Fuck that. I'm not going to look up on each fucking, each autobiography on each person. Nah. I, I just know. say keep that, the governor, man. He's he's done he's done the, okay. The Reverend, I feel like he's, he'd be cool. Al Sharpton? The Reverend, there's a, I guess there's a church guy inside the ballots. I don't know. I don't even know who the fuck that is. Who's that? What's his name? I don't know. Jim Caviezel? Who is he? Who's the one running? I, I didn't know that. Dude, name's... the list is huge. And I was like, I'm not I think his name's that. Craig Robinson or something. Craig Robinson. I don't know. That sounds like an actor's name, but really, that's crazy though. But it's a possibility. I don't know. I, I, don't I know. just think, you know, you know, it's not as bad as it right now. With, like, Corona's coming back and everything, but it's not as bad as here as it is in other states. So, 
you know, shit. I don't. You can't yeah. blame any governor. Or whatever. Like you can't blame him. Eve. Even the Texas governor, Abbott, the guy who got Corona again after denying it and all that stuff. Like, you know. Or Ted Cruz when he goes to Mexico and leaves everybody there in the cold. No, that's fucked up. That didn't look good. Just happened to take vacation at that moment. Yeah, but you see, I just think, you know, I don't know. I I, I, I said I voted no on the recall. It it, it, it doesn't come out of office soon. He has he's up for a reelection in two years. So if you're going to. Oh, in two years. Yeah. Shouldn't you just like wait? Till like this thing kind of you know goes back to its normal thing, I don't know. Yeah, but I'll tell you. No, but it doesn't help when he was telling people, "Hey, don't do this," and he was doing the same shit, telling people not to do that. Really, that that kind of ticks me off because I'm like, bro, if you're gonna tell, yeah, but everyone on Earth does that. It's being a person. Everyone does that. Yeah, but you can't do it at a po- at a political. Like point you tell like me, that, Ralph, don't eat that much fast food, and I see you slamming freaking whoppers on Sundays. Like, yeah, three of it's them. not my fault. I worked out more than you. Yeah, I'm telling you that. That's what I'm saying. Then you'd be just slamming three whoppers. Yeah, but it's different. And a diet it's, coke. It's different. What's with the diet coke? What's with it? Don't drink that. Just drink water, man. Hey, asshole, you know I don't drink diet coke. You know I barely even drink soda. Well, I saw it on your Instagram status: shit. three whoppers and like like a club sandwich and a diet coke. So I don't know. Maybe you took someone's. I don't Instagram. even eat club sandwiches. I don't even know what that is. The chicken club sandwich at Burger King. It's called the original chicken sandwich. Yeah, that those... one. That one. Fuck, you're an idiot. The original you know was called club sandwich. Wasn't bro, it? Just shut your whore mouth, bro. I'm sick and tired you. of listening to your voice. You know what, Randy? You're just an asshole. You just you're just mad that people are want Ralph's rants and they they don't want your Randy's rants no more. You're just mad because I voted for Caitlyn Jenner. I didn't vote for that. Yeah, you did. I know you did. I didn't. Yeah, I know you did. Bro, in your mind, you wanted to do it. Maybe you didn't, but I think you wanted to. I just can't stand it. I mean, uh, I can't stand him. I mean, I can't stand her. Is it him or her? You didn't pick one. Can I say it? Oh, you <laughs> mother. And you said I'm offensive. You're calling a person it? Jeez. That's poor, like, I forgot what, you're cold. I watched a movie or a show. I can't remember in what. You are you are one cold person, no, man. No, what movie is that on? You, you've been watching those, like, you've been hanging out at, at freaking hunting shops and too much, man. So? What's it called? Damn, dude, you called... That lady, it, like the clown, it, like Pennywise, it. Yeah, who gives a shit, bro? It is, it is what it is. Damn, that's like it's a fucking joke. You know when I get demonetized? I don't give a fuck, bro. Anybody knows who actually knows me knows I personally don't give a damn about anything. Bro, it is what it is. I just said what everybody's been trying to say as well. What everybody's always thought and only said to themselves. Should we just do this episode again? You're, this is like you're just being so. You're a racist. <laughs> you're no racist. <laughs> nah, nah, I, I, nah, I, I just fucking. I, res- you know, I respect your opinion, what but it is though, bro. He or she should not be called it though. Of course not. Yeah, but I like being an asshole. I, I'm the I'm the devil's advocate. You know, I gotta say some shit, bro. That's smart. What, what's but, Randy's rants without controversy? You need a rant. No, 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 no. What's Randy's rants without controversy? Mm-hmm. There's no show if we don't have some sort of controversy. That's on right. Here. You need to rant more. You're too positive to people. Tell them to get their life together to drink water. No, no, no. Do the exact opposite. Don't exercise. Take Angie James. <laughs> Eat <laughs> fast food twice a day. Be the exact no, opposite. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're the opposite of that. But when you go one way, I got to do the opposite of that. Mm. That's that's yeah, you're right. The only time we're on the same page is when it's like something important. Mm. Yeah, it's true. When we bullshit, when we just talk and we just say what's on our mind, it is what it is. You know what's happening? Who's who, like, you know, who really can't cut a break? Like, we should all literally like have like a Britney a, Spears. No, 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 no free no. Britney. No, 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 nah, Britney. She still has millions, so no, but still free Britney, bro. It's Britney, bitch. It's Britney. But she's been freed bitch. for a while. I don't give a fuck. Just free her. No, but can we agree that can we do like a prayer chain? Like son, like like do like a message thing that Haiti, man. Oh man. they cannot catch, catch a break. A... President dies, then the earthquake. 
They're still recovering I mean, oh, from the on. earthquake hold 10 on. years ago. Hold on. Not even dies. Gets assassinated. Yeah. By people from Colombia. In his house, Mercenaries, bro. yeah. And they shot his wife. That's fucked up. Oh. That's a movie. That that right there is like a Munich or some sort of movie, man. Mm-hmm. I just, I just don't it's see just why nuts. can't they catch a break. Like, literally, Haiti, it's been rough for them for a level. I'm going to say the last 20 years. Yeah. The earthquake that destroyed everything. They, I think then, then like it kind of stabilized. Then like civil war broke out or some shit. Haiti needs a World Cup. Oh, I don't think so, Randy. But what what's with this bad luck? Like literally, they, they have need like a the World worst Cup, luck. They in need the world. tourism there to make money. But you can't go to tourism. It's not safe. It's like controlled by roaming gangs. Like how? What do you? What's be honest. When was the last time you you heard? Oh, dude, let's go check out Haiti. Dude, Haiti's is fire. Wait, let's go hit it up. I've never heard that in my life. Well, I hear sometimes Mexicans Mexicans say "Hablele a IT." I think I'm think they say a Haiti, but usually the time it's IT. No, I just don't think it's like they did some like people said because I was watching like 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 clips on YouTube. These pastors they're blaming that they did a deal with the devil to get the French out. To get I stuff like that, know. I don't know if I believe that. No, but it's just, maybe there's a little truth to that because they've had the worst luck. Literally, like ever since the French got out of there, that place has been bad. In the last twenty years, it's been worse. Like, it's just like, why can't they fix that? Like, except throwing all that, except throwing all that money in Afghanistan, give a hundred billion to Haiti, man. Let them build resorts. Let them do something. Have a festival there, like. They need to help those people out, man. It's just, it's just, dude, they're so close to us. Yeah, I don't know. It's tough, bro. It's tough. But I don't know. It's just, it's just one of those things and where you know, you know what movie the president was watching when he got killed? Watch this. Lord of the Rings. Nope. Star Wars. S- Scarface. Oh, mm. that's even the worst. At least he was trying to fix the country. What if? And then a bunch actually, of mercenaries show up. What if he was actually a drug dealer? Nah, I don't think so. Ooh, maybe no. that'd be a good. That'd that's be a good, good conspiracy. I'm just saying to go to go to his house and just. And you also wondered, doesn't that guy have bodyguards? Like, what were the bodyguards after this? Why do you think I'm telling you? What if he was in a bad deal? Yeah, but then the and that happens, and then the another earthquake hits. It's just damn. They can't catch a break. They cannot horrible, catch a man. break, man. It's like people in Haiti. You know, they're, they're good people. I've never been there. But fuck, you know, it'd be cool to visit once in a while, but maybe when they fix their problems, because they just, you know, they need to take the route of Jamaica. Like, Jamaica's pretty solid, man. People can relate a lot to Jamaica. A lot of people of can relate a lot to Haiti. Yeah, there's a lot of bad men there. Yeah, you see, but. Little Jacob's there, too. He lives there. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. He's, you know, after he left Liberty City, you know, he went back, you know, back to Haiti. Yeah, yeah, he did. But damn, that's that's No, he wrong. went to Jamaica. He's not from Haitian. Oh, shit. You're right. <laughs> My bad. Call yourself a Grand Theft Auto fan. But yeah, that's, 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 you know, they need a break, man. They need someone to help them. You know what should they do? Why don't you just say, like, join a country that's semi-okay? Like you know Mexico. What, it, join Mexico. You know what's even worse? Bad. There's already it, a lot of Haitians in Tijuana. Hey, uh-huh. This happens during Corona. Yeah. What are the odds, bro? It's, uh... Yeah, and that's how you know you know, with what with, with, with what happened in Haiti not too long ago. First, it was the assassination, then the earthquake, and then we wake up to what's happening in Afghanistan. That place is a f- like we've been there for twenty years, and a trillion dollars spent to fix that country. And the end of the day, we got nothing. Nothing. It's tough. It's, but with that trillion dollars, you know how much we could have done? Everybody could have got universal health care. You could have fixed all the roads, done a bunch of stuff, but it all went to shit. Uh, uh, it all went to shit, straight it, up. It is, but I'm, I'm just going to say, that. the thing is, it, you can't leave it all to the U.S. Yeah, what doesn't anybody, if every country, like people that are in the European Union, stationed just 500 troops per country, Not Afghanistan even, wouldn't even, have gone to shit. Or a thousand. Yeah, a thousand. a thousand per country? A thousand per province. Hey, Italy's right here. Switzerland right here. Everybody pitches in. Even like Brazil too. Like they pitch in with a thousand soldiers. And just kept and it Mexico like. And Mexico pitches in with, with a thousand. Mm-hmm. Exactly. It would have been safe. But no one wants to do jack shit. They want to expect the US to do everything. 
And after all that money, all those people have been killed, all that stuff, and we're still back to square one. But uh, but also, I'm going to get with this, too. You can't defeat an ideology. You know how you defeat an ideology? With prosperity. True. But the thing is, remember... You, you know who said that? Yeah. But you, you know, do, under- you know, do you know who said that? Yeah, but you have to understand one... No, one, you don't. You don't know who said that. No, but you have to understand this other point of view. It's like a gang. If your family's in a gang and one of the, another gang kills your father, you're, you're next. Some Majority of the time, the kids take that spot so they can one day avenge their dad. Yeah. The same thing is happening in has happened in the Middle East. And it's not even within the last 20 years, even since the 90s. You know what sucks? All this shit happened. They were this close to starting to getting fast food over there. Like McDonald's, Burger King, yeah. Taco Bell. But they were thinking about opening up like offices, like they open up like branches yeah. in like ever since the nineties it's been it's been kinda mm-hmm. hectic. When the Russians try to go in and the US backed them and next you know it, it just and it, the whole shit just goes to crap. It, it, it's there's a there's a long list of what went wrong. A lot went wrong. A lot went wrong. But also at the same time, I'm gonna say They got to do their part. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I heard some soldiers, when they saw them coming, they're like, uh, they took the uniform and just ran. Oh, I wouldn't doubt it. Billions but, and billions spent on the but, Afghan but also, army and nothing. Done, but going back to the gang thing, you have to understand how many of those in the Taliban aren't in there for another reason that maybe one of their loved ones passed away because an insertion that the U.S. did. Because how many people from... Let's, let's go from uh, when... Uh, you know when everything started to go down the middle, the Middle East. Ever since after the mission accomplished speech, mm-hmm. how many innocent deaths haven't been since that day? A lot. A lot of civilians. Yeah, that's true. And how many of those civilians don't have family members? Yeah, they remember that shit. Come on, you gotta understand that that that, that part too. You you're not gonna get rid of it unless you. you or maybe just the Middle East, like Muslim societies. Like they're just so too far to religious, the religious that a, a society based on that much religion and democracy cannot coexist. It cannot. It cannot. It's just like literally, democracy in the Middle East cannot exist because of their, they're just too far to the right on when it comes to religion. Religion is basically the center point of all society there. So you can't have a democracy there. Democracy in that part of the world cannot coexist with like such religious, you know. People so have are so more religious there, you know. You, it's, it's just true. how you it can't, is. You can't have straight a up. You really can't mix the things. No, you can't. Like you can't yeah. because over, over here, there they still have. Don't they still have? Uh, they cut your hands if you're stealing. Yeah, exactly. You see, uh, that's why you it's can't. Biblical. It's very biblical. You can't. You can't balance a democracy in people who have that strong like of a religious background. Like they cannot survive because. They can sh- they can shit on other religions, but you can't shit on their religion because so t- they get offended and they want to so cut your head off. They're so tied to the roots. Yeah, that's one. Mm-hmm. They're so tied to the roots where change is very hard, very hard. And maybe it's just not meant. They're just used to having like the government run by one person and everybody the same religion. It's just you know, it can't work there. Mm. And there's even some movies that kind of highlight when it went to shit and all of so like Charlie Wilson's War. Mm-hmm. That's a great movie, and especially you get a lot of background on how the Middle East really got fucked up. Yeah, exactly. And it's and it really kind of started kind of with the with us because in the movie, which I've done research on, it, it, it's actually true where we pay money for for them to defend themselves, but to also destroy part of their it destroys part of their cities, part of this because they're fighting the Russians. No, the thing just the thing that the, the Americans just give them money just to beat the shit out of Russia. Yeah. It was, but, but remember, after that ended, they're like, I'm not going to build you a school. Or exactly. And, and, roads, that's, you know? and just like Charlie Wilson says, we fucked it up. Yeah. If they would have done money to put build a build, not, maybe not even a school, but hospitals, making sure people are healthy, different things could have happened. But when you just give money to defend and nothing to really change it to a democracy to how it should be. That's what I'm telling you. It. Like, you can't have democracy. They, if you but can't also, have a bar in a strip club on the same street, but you also, can't have democracy. Also, let's go to uh, the movie. Uh, is it The Kingdom? No, Green Zone. Matt Damon. Mm-hmm. It's basically the fall of Saddam Hussein. 
Yeah, it's and true. And literally, it's so identical. Just names are different, but it's identical. Where they, 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 uh, they're fighting, they're saying, dude, don't take this guy out of power. We need him to keep everything in the region balanced. The moment he's gone, you're going to... And what happens? Saddam Hussein's gone. His whole regime falls. Guess what happens? You got destabilization of the Middle East. No one's in power. And people are still dealing with the conf- conf- the the consequences of that. That happened almost, what, 17 years ago? Almost 20 years ago. And we're still dealing with the same consequences. It's like, same that thing. shit it triggered all the migration to Europe, all the people going, like, hardcore conservative in Europe. And, like, it triggered a lot of events that it's going to take years, maybe decades, to to go back what it is. But also, but- don't get it wrong. I'm not saying Saddam Hussein's a saint either. But I'm saying you gotta understand. And for every action, you know what was his favorite movie? Mm. What thing was his favorite movie? I don't know. Scarface. No, The Godfather. Really? Oh wow! That guy yeah. was always watching that movie all the time. It was such a good movie, though. Mm-hmm. But yeah, but going so he back didn't. To- he didn't. He was a bad president, but he didn't have bad taste. Let's, no, let's agree yeah, on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's agree. definitely. But I'm gonna say Saddam Hussein was a saint. But you know what? When when you're thinking about taking somebody out, especially in a region that's big and that you know, like, hey. It's stable. What makes you think taking out this person is not going to destabilize it? Because mm-hmm. he has his followers. The other side have their followers. But there comes a point where even in the movie, and it's so true, nobody wanted a person that was backed by the U.S. because they saw him as a U.S. puppet. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Which is the same thing here where they're saying everybody's throwing each other under the bus saying, oh, he's a Russian puppet or he's a Putin puppet, which is it, it, it's the, the, it was the same shit. Mm, yeah, that's true. I just I think democracy cannot coexist up there. No, they, I think they're too tied to religion. Exactly. They're just too. They're just too tied to religion. It's just they can't exist there, man. It just it, dude, you just you can't even drink alcohol over there, and that right, right there, that's just right there tells you a lot. They're just it's just you just can't do it. Can't no, do you it. Can't. Yeah, crazy shit, huh? I think the only way that the, the thing in the Middle East will work is when, in due time, when old heads start to die off. Mm. That that ha- that needs to take more time for it to be able to evolve and grow like the rest of the world. I don't think it's, it, it's going to be done anytime soon. I mean, it may not even be done in our lifetime. Honestly, I wouldn't hold my breath on that stuff. No, honestly, think if it... W- but I still want to visit Dubai, though. What the fuck? I, I want to visit Dubai too. Right? Yeah, maybe there's some hope in the Middle East. Jerusalem. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Damn. Hopefully they get the stuff to fix. Go to Karnak. Hmm. You know, I was wondering on the stuff. Aleppo. I was watching the other day about a uh, freaking. I was reading this. I saw a little mini documentary on dreams. They're wondering like if it has like a religious, like there's a spiritual connection or just your brain. Like a lot of people say that dreams is just whatever you thought did that day is your mind process it hence creates dreams. I think it's both. But honestly, I think it's both because sometimes I think dreams can sometimes maybe it's just God giving you a heads up of what might yeah, go down. I don't think it's every day. I think sometimes your brain just dreams of something that you literally saw. But, you know, it's like I kind of see it like mail. Mm-hmm. You don't get mail every day. Mm-hmm. Some days you don't get nothing. All right, that's how I see it, too. And some days you get something important. You know, if you smoke a l- other days, it's just bullshit. You know, if you, the, if you smoke a lot of weed, like the part of your brain that kind of like triggers like dreams, you basically stop that. Yeah. You stop it. That's crazy. And as soon as you get sober, all those dreams start coming back to you. Like the, the what's it called? The part of your brain that creates like dreams and stuff like that is like literally blocked off at the time you're smoking like weed. And when you like, when you stop, you go cold turkey for like a month or two months. That you start having all these dreams again, because your brain is like getting itself back to its normal thing. That's weird. I wonder why is that. I don't know. This one guy, I was watching Ancient Aliens. This one guy says that that dreams are also a portal to other dimensions. Oh, that's trippy right there. But what, what's the what's his evidence to support that? Like, I want to know what what research he has done for him to say. Like, what's the theory? Like, what was what, what's well, he basing his theory on? 
he's basing the theory on like um, like how sometimes with people like dream of the like past loved ones that have died or something like that or how they're like in a different world and you see them maybe through your dreams your body is subconsciously going to there yeah what do you think damn you look dude did you just get tired yeah, yeah. i just got sleepy out of fucking nowhere bro Damn, you you need to start taking energy drinks again, man. They're good for you. They're gonna help you a lot, like really? Monster Energy yeah, drinks. Yeah, like cancer, aspartame, migraines, headaches, rapid heartbeat, elevated sugar levels, diabetes, obesity. That's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, that's what I think about that. But you know, I wonder if you take shrooms, do you get better dreams? Because you're unlocking parts of your brain. I don't know. That yeah, haven't been but used. you're not supposed to sleep when you're on shrooms. No, but you're eventually gonna sl- you're gonna come down off of it. Yeah, eventually but you're gonna during sleep. the trip of shrooms. You're not supposed to. You're not supposed to go to sleep. Well, what happens if you do go to sleep? It may take you too too far into a trip. Oh shit! You're right. You could probably get thrown so far deep that like you don't come back. Like you you might be there physically, but your mind is like it's stuck with Mister Tuminus. That yeah, Narnia, you might go to Narnia and never come back. That's pretty bad, though. I know. That's rough. That is fucking rough, bro. I don't so know. people shouldn't do it or should not do it. Then imagine seeing this on shrooms. Feels soft. What the? That kind of, oh, it's weird. Feels weird. Is that suede? Yeah, it's it is suede on there, huh? Yeah, I designed cool. that poster myself. Well, yeah, where? Hmm? On the internet. Hmm. And you asked for sweet? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. It's pretty good, though, huh? I'm thinking it of sucks. buying more. It sucks. Fuck it's a piece you. of shit. You see, typical you. I say I did something, and you start shitting on it. Man, this shit's just published by Posters Wholesale. Oh, shit, my bad. I think I just bought it. <laughs> I just might bought it. Look, even this is artwork by Ch- Ch- Charon Design. You didn't even fucking do this, you lying sack of crap. You fucking horse shit. Hey, hey. You they shut have, your they mouth. They have my debit card whore. information. Yeah. But that does not say artwork. Oh, hear this. Remember we were talking about a couple episodes ago about that chimp attack in P- Pelton, Oregon? Don't tell me he was on shrooms, too. No, 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 no. That, that, that he was on meth. He was on meth. Okay. He was a methed out chimpanzee. But apparently, the local cops there knew the whole time they had that chimp there. Those motherfuckers. And they, they didn't had, illegal? They had any the cops there. They're all law and order. The Umatilla County Sheriff's like, they knew that that lady had a chimp. Even the main sheriff guy since like 15 years ago the fuck knew that it? that lady had a ch- an illegal chimpanzee. Who's, who's, who's uh, the county sheriff? Back then it was like some douchebag racist asshole Trumbo or something. John Trumbo. Trumbone? This, Trumbo or some bullshit. This guy was the biggest piece of shit in the world. This guy was doing all this shit, talking shit about Mexicans and allowing people with illegal chimpanzees in their home. And dangerous. Exactly. Chimpanzees are fucking, they can rip your hands off from your body. That's how strong those fuckers are. You see, these, this this guy, this Trumbo guy, fucking the sheriff, ex-sheriff, I don't think he's even, I don't even know if he's even alive no more, but he was kind of fucking racist back in the day, so fuck that motherfucker. Knowing they had a chimpanzee and he, and he hit the lady slide like it was nothing. And f- basically, other people who had like Rottweilers or dogs would give them fines and they didn't have leashes and shit. Like, he would be like very fucking like strict and shit like that. But knowing that, like, a person that he knew had an illegal monkey, an illegal messed out monkey, and the cops didn't do shit. You see how it is? Fucking pieces of shit. Yeah, fuck. You see? Just because of that fucking. The cops do the whole time. And all these time Mexicans do all these illegal so cockfighting. They, they get tickets, they, but the lady with the chimpanzee don't get shit. They knew Taco or Paco didn't have papers. Mm-hmm. He shouldn't even been there. Like you can't have chimpanzees in Oregon. Like that's not cool. And this guy goes around making like busting Mexicans having rooster fights. And this lady's got a messed out chimp in her house, addicted to drugs, prescription medicine, <laughs> fast food. God. Who knows what kind of movies that sh- that monkey, that chimpanzee was watching. But I was watching Planet of the Apes, Battle for Planet of the Apes, Return from Planet of the Apes, Beneath Planet of the Apes, 
and back again to Planet of the Apes. <laughs> so this this is a brainwashed chimpanzee with all this racist stuff towards humans, and eventually, what happens one day? He <laughs> he snaps, goes off the deep end, threatens the owner with a knife or with a gun or something, and he just go, throws it all to the wind, and basically ends up getting gunned down by the sheriffs. Just because there were that lady was okay. cool enough to have a chimpanzee. Okay, we both know you added some things to them, but it was perfect. <laughs> I'm telling you, dude, that's bullshit. That's to show you some how some some cops, not all the cops, some cops are. They give a little people extra leeway, even though this no one should have a chimpanzee in their house. Yeah, especially a chimpanzee Bro, even with sweet. such a high carb Remember, diet. Even. <laughs> How do you even know that fucking monkey was on a hard, high carb diet, bro? Give him fast food. Give him fast. I, I read the obituary on Taco slash Paco, and you know he had like he liked fast food, but it just sucks that that cops are like that. But, give other people leeway and other funny. people don't. That lady got leeway, but Sway Lee got shit when he had a baby monkey. Yeah, and he had a fire song. He had great music too. But you see how some people get away from it. But apparently the the sheriff there, what's it called? Trumbo knew the lady for like 30 years or something, but she's okay to have a chimpanzee. A deadly, a deadly, deadly chimpanzee, chimpanzee with kind of like feelings, anti human feelings, watching all those Battle of the uh, Attack of the What's It Called Planet of the Apes movie. So, already had resentment toward humans. He hated humans. He just didn't, the people didn't know that. And they, he's this fucking racist sheriff, Trumbo, that piece of shit, busting all these Mexicans that do horse races and illegal rooster fights you know maybe they're illegal or just or is it just, or is it just roosters freaking uh what's it called uh what's uh, they're doing uh what's it called uh light boxing but with blades on their feet <laughs> so oh man that's the story on that man that's hopefully you know people will learn about the story about that you know and not get a, a chimp with uh racist tendencies to humans and are addicted to benzos and uh, mm-hmm. Xanaxes and oxys, fentanyl. Well, they didn't even have fentanyl back in the day, so it'll be other stuff. Hey, how do we know that? Oh, that's true. Yeah, that's true. How do we know that? Yeah, so true. Yeah, so what time is it? Think we have to call in on this one, isn't it? Yeah, it's up to you. Yeah, we still got. Did we cover all the topics that we had? Yeah, if not, we'll get on the second episode. That's yeah, true. All right, guys. Thank y'all for listening. It's another episode of Randy's Reigns. Remember, y'all can catch these episodes on iTunes, CastBox, Spotify, YouTube, all major platforms. MySpace. Apple, Apple mm-hmm. CastBox. I uh, don't know about MySpace. But definitely, guys, thank y'all for listening. Greatness of one dead time. And uh, I may have an announcement for you guys soon. I don't know. I'm working on a few things, but. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll see uh, what this brain cooks up because I, I got a few ideas, and I think it's gonna be good for the show. Don't tell me you're transitioning. Transitioning to what? Nothing. <laughs> All right. Love you guys. Greatness is one at times. Get it. We'll say bye, you jerk. All right. Goodbye. <laughs>